as a medical professional, I want you to answer for all of that international condemnation, if you will. We've seen cases of COVID, of course, spiking in recent weeks here in the UAE, but now the Emirates also under fire for being a, quote, super spreader country. Is there truth to this? Good morning, Adley, and thanks for taking the time to, uh, to talk this morning. Uh, it's great to have you here. Um, I think the whole world has been dealing with this challenge uh, for more than a year uh, now, and we've, we've watched how there's been a surge in, in cases uh, all over the world, and uh, different countries have dealt with it differently. The approach uh, in the UAE and in, in Dubai in particular has always been underpinned really by, uh, by science. It's science-informed uh, common sense, uh, and it's also uh, been underpinned by um, uh, an approach trying to balance really between saving lives and, and saving livelihoods. So uh, there's been very strict protocols uh, when the economy started opening up uh, last summer. Uh, we've been following the numbers very carefully. Uh, we were very concerned with the rise uh, in numbers and the emergence of new variants um, now about two months ago. And uh, measures were in place to, to face uh, the anticipated surge. And, and, and that did actually take, that, uh, did, did take place. Uh, so the numbers have surged, but the health system has been managed has managed to keep up with the numbers, taking care of the sick, and uh, there's been more restrictions now in terms of um, activities uh, in in the Emirate and, and in the UAE in response to that. Uh, the approach is always really to um, to try to balance things. Uh, the 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 remedy. Uh, cannot be worse than the ailment, um, and the uh, the community is responsible. Uh, we've all seen uh, uh, some of the news media uh, reports uh, about uh, some some incidents, but um, you know, in, in science, anecdotes that doesn't make for evidence. And and the evidence on the ground is that yes, there's been a surge in numbers, uh, but the Emirate has been uh, able to manage uh, that surge, and the health system has been managed to maintain capacity and surge capacity. So just so that we're clear, the data does not show, at least so far, that Dubai has been some kind of super spreader in allowing tourists to come in and out over the last couple of months. Because we know hundreds of thousands of people have come in and out, obviously, uh, think, in Dubai think, and headed back to the UK and elsewhere. It's not, you know, the world today is more interconnected than it's ever been. Um, we've seen variants emerge. Uh, from different countries in the world. And, and these variants have been reported now in more than 70 different countries. So we're, we're watching that emerging evidence very carefully. Uh, and I don't think it's, uh, it's uh, helpful to, to, um, to, to identify a particular country uh, as, a, as a particular source for a certain variant.